And I do detect a quorum, but I'll run through the uh, attendance really quickly, at least what we have so far. So in addition to myself, we have Council Members Bradford, Murphy, Vice Chair Rutherford, and then Council Members Sepulveda and Welsh. So right now we have six, which is what we need for a quorum, and I'll mark others present as they arrive. Um, right now, I have we have a lengthy agenda, but at least for the moment, I have everything on the consent agenda. <laughs> So it will take me a while to read through all of that. Um, does anyone know right offhand if anything on our agenda needs to come off of consent for any reason? Seeing none, I'll go ahead and get started reading all those and if someone needs to pull something at the end, we, we certainly can. So beginning with resolutions on public hearing, item number one is resolution RS 2023-2236. A sponsor's council member Roberts exempts 5918 Morrow Road, number 200, from the minimum distance requirements for obtaining a short-term rental property not on our occupied permit. Um, and we have quite a few of these on today's agenda. Item number two, resolution 2023-2237 by Council Member Taylor um, is, also, is the same. Uh, it is for 217 24th Avenue, number 101. Item number three, resolution RS 2023-2238 by Council Member Taylor is the same. It exempts 217 24th Avenue, number 102. Item number four, resolution RS 2023 2239 by Councilmember Taylor is, is also an STR waiver for 217 24th Avenue, number 103. So the one above us, above that was 102, we've got number 103. Resolution 2023 2240 by Councilmember Taylor is for the same address, number 104. Um, number six, resolution RS 2023-2241 by Council Member Taylor is also an STR exemption for 217 24th Avenue, number 201. Item number seven, resolution RS 2023-2242 by Council Member Taylor is for uh, unit 202. Item number eight, resolution 2023-2243 by Council Member Taylor is for unit 203. Item number nine, resolution 2023-2244 by Council Member Taylor is for unit number 204. Uh, and I think that gets us to the end of those. Then moving on to regular resolutions, we've got item number 10, resolution RS 2023-2248, the sponsor of council members Roten, Withers, Tombs, and others declares surplus and approves the disposition of certain parcels of real property in accordance with section 2.24.050G of the Metro Code. Item number 11, resolution RS 2023-2249, the sponsors are council members Tombs, Hauser, Roten, and others, declare surplus and authorizes the conveyance of real property to certain nonprofit organizations and authorizes grants not exceeding $3 million from the Barnes Fund for Affordable Housing to Awake Nashville, Inc. for the express purpose of constructing affordable or workforce housing for older adults. And I think we will have a presentation on some of these in the Affordable Housing Committee. But, um, just so folks are aware. For item number 12, resolution RS 2023-2250, the sponsors are council members Hauser, Roten, Withers, and others declare surplus and authorizes the conveyance of real property to certain nonprofit organizations and authorizes grants not exceeding 634,000 from the Barnes Fund for Affordable Housing to certain nonprofit organizations selected for the express purpose of constructing affordable or workforce housing. Item number 13, uh, resolution RS 2023-2252. The sponsors are uh, council members Roten, Withers, and Allen approves an interlocal agreement between Metro Government and the Health and Education Facilities Board um, for administrative, financial, and legal services for the mixed income pilot program. Item number 14, resolution RS 2023-2271. The sponsors are Council Members Taylor, Roten, Withers, and others. Approves Amendment 5 to an agreement by and between the state of Tennessee, um, which is TDOT and Metro Government, acting by and through NDOT for improvements on Jefferson Street, federal number STP-M-1900 uh, with parent parentheses for the number 28. Also, num state number 19 LP LM F3 011, pin 103490 .00, property number 2023 M 026 AG 001. 
Item number 15, resolution RS 2023-2274. The sponsors are Council Members Roten with Rutherford, Roten, Withers, and Pulley approves supplement number one to an intergovernmental agreement by and between the state of Tennessee and Metro acting by and through the Department of Water and Sewerages. Seward Services to construct pin number 105766.02 on State Route 11, Nolensville Pike, from north of Mill Creek to near State Route 254, located in Davidson County, Tennessee. State Project number 19028-2245-14. Metro Water Services Project number 16-WG-0060. And Proposal number 2023M-020AG-001. Presents. Item number 16, resolution RS 2023-2275. The sponsors are council members Rutherford, Roten, Withers, and Pulley approve supplement number one to an intergovernmental agreement by and between the state of Tennessee, Department of Transportation, and Metro Government acting by and through the Department of Water and Sewerage, Sewerage Services to construct pin number 105766.02 along State Route 11, Nolensville Pike, from north of Mill Creek to near State Route 254, located in Davidson County. This is state project number 19028-2245-14 or Metro Water Services Project number 616-SG-0045 and proposal number 2023M-019AG-001. Moving down to bills on second reading, item number 17, Ordinance Bill 2023-920, the sponsors to Council Members Murphy and Nash, authorizes Metro Government to abandon existing sanitary sewer main and easements and to accept new sanitary sewer mains, sanitary sewer manholes and easements for three properties located at 5540 Oakmont Circle and 262 and 264 White Bridge Pike. Item number 18, Ordinance Bill 2023-1895. The sponsors are Council Members Hauser, Roten, Withers, and Pulley authorizes the granting of permanent utility easement to Piedmont Natural Gas on certain property owned by the Metro Government. Parcel number 142-000-21700, which is proposal number 2023-M-068-ES-001. Item number 19, Ordinance Bill 2023-1896. The sponsors are Council Members Parker, Roden, Withers, and Pulley. Authorizes the acquisition of certain rights of way, easements, and property rights by negotiation or condemnation for use by Metro Government. Acting by and through uh, NDOT in connection with the public project described as early acquisition of right of way to include six parcels for Phase 1 North-South Arterial Boulevard between Spring Street or Woodland Street, and, um, which is state project number... Uh, 19LPLM-S2-190, pin number 132289.00, and proposal number 2023M-021AG-001. Item number 20, Ordinance Bill 2023-1897, the sponsor to Council Members Hancock, Withers, and Pulley, amends the Geographic Information System Street and Alley Center line layer for the Metro Government of Nashville and Davidson County by ab abandoning a portion of Pawn Pawnee Trail unimproved right away. This is proposal number 2023M-001AB-001. Item number 21, Ordinance Bill 2023-1898. The sponsors are Council Members Evans, Withers, and Pulley, authorizes Metro Government to accept new public sanitary sewer main, sanitary sewer manholes, fire and assemblies, and easements for property located at 840 Old Lebanon Dirt Road, Metro Water Services Project Numbers 22-SL-110 and 22-WL-48, and Proposal Number 2023-M-061ES-001. Item number 22, ordinance number BL 2023-1899. The sponsors are Taylor, Withers, and Pulley. Authorizes Metro Government to accept the relocation and replacement of public water main for property located at 401 Clay Street, also known as Lexus of Nashville. 
Metro Water S Services Project Number 23-WL-28 and Proposal Number 2023-M-062ES-001. Item Number 23, Ordinance Bill 2023-1900, the sponsors of Council Members Roten, Withers and Pulley, authorizes the Metro Government to set new public water and sanitary sewer mains for iron assemblies, sanitary sewer manholes and easements for property located at 3739 Hoggett Ford Road, also known as the Reserve at Magnolia Farms, Metro Water S Services Project Number numbers 22-WL-95 and 22-SL-204 and proposal number 2023-M-065ES-001. Item number 24, Ordinance Bill 2023-1901, the sponsors are Consumer Sledge, Withers and Pulley, authorizes Metro Government to abandon existing public storm sewer pipeline and easement for property located at 2212 12th Avenue South. Metro Water Services grading permit number 20220372391 and proposal number 2023M-071ES-001. Item number 25, Ordinance Bill 2023-1902, the sponsors of Council Members Roten, Withers and Pulley authorizes the Metro Government to accept new public sanitary sewer main sanitary sewer manholes and easements for property located at 3507 Central Pike, also known as Hermitage 711 Metro Water Services Project Number 23-SL-37 and proposal number 2023-M-058ES-001. Item number 26, BL 2023-1903, the sponsors of Council Members Syracuse, Withers and Pulley, authorizes Metro Government to accept the relocation of an existing public fire hydrant assembly for property located at 433 Opera Mills Drive, also known as PF Chang's Restaurant, Metro Water Services Project number 23-WL-23 and proposal number 2023-M-072ES-001. <clears throat> Item number 27, Ordinance Bill 2023-1904, the sponsor to consumers Tombs, Withers and Pulley, authors the Metro Government to accept new public sanitary sewer manhole and easement for two properties located at 1011 and 1013 West Trinity Lane, Metro Water Services Project number 22-SL-131 and proposal number 2023-M-067ES-001. Item number 28, Ordinance Bill 2023-1905, the sponsors are Withers and Pulley, authorizes Metro Government to accept new public sanitary sewer man and sanitary sewer manholes. We're located at 1219 11th Avenue North, Metro Water Services Project number 22-SL-270 and proposal number 2023-M-079ES-001. Item number 29, Ordinance Bill 2023-1906, the sponsors of Council Members Withers and Pulley, authorizes Metro Government to accept new public sanitary sewer force main and rehabilitation of existing sanitary sewer manholes for four properties located on Rural Hill Road, Mount View Road, and Highlander Drive, also known as Novo Antioch, Metro Water Ser Services Project Number 22-SL-43, and Proposal Number 2023-M-052ES-001. Item number 30, Ordinance Bill 2023-1907, the sponsors are Council Members Bradford, Withers, and Pulley, authorizes Metro Government to accept new public water and sanitary sewer mains and sanitary sewer manholes for property located at 1287 Curry Road, also known as Habiba Subdivision, Metro Water Services Project Numbers 22-WL-110 and 22-SL-230, and Proposal Number 2023-M-073ES-001. Item number 31, Ordinance Bill 2023-1908, the sponsors to consumers Tombs, Van Rees, Withers, and Pulley, authorizes Metro Government to abandon existing public sanitary sewer mains and sanitary sewer manholes, and to set new public sanitary sewer mains and sanitary sewer manholes for eight properties located on Ewing Drive, Dickerson Pike, and Ben Allen Road, also known as Ewing Drive Sanitary Sewer Replacement, Metro Water Services Project Number 23-SL-13, and Proposal Number 2023-M-055ES-001. Item number 32, Ordinance Bill 2023-1909, the sponsors of Council Members Withers and Pulley, authorizes Metro Government to accept new public and sanitary sewer mains, fire hydrant assemblies, sanitary sewer manholes and easements for two properties located at 5991 and 5997 Edmondson Pike, also known as Sycamore Estates. This is Metro Water Services Project Numbers 22-WL-99 and 22-SL-209 and Project Number 2023 m dash zero six six es dash zero zero one and finally 
ordinance number 33 or um, item number 33 ordinance bill 2023-1910 the sponsors are council members porterfield withers and pulley authorizes metro government of nashville to accept new public sanitary sewer maintenance and adjustment of sanitary sewer main holes for property located at 455 royal road also known as edge o lake sanitary sewer improvement metro water services project number 22-sl-295 and proposal number 2023 m-049 es Zero zero one. We heard anything specifically from Taylor. Um, let me just make sure I haven't missed anyone who has arrived. So Councilmember Toombs has arrived. Councilmember O'Connell is here. I think that brings us up to Councilmember Van Reese is now here. One, two, three, four, five, six. What's that? Who's number 10? Oh, Gimbal's here. All right, so we are now at 10. Um, Council Member, um, Council Member Murphy. To the best of your knowledge, do the items for Council Member Taylor need to remain on consent? Yes. Okay, thank you. All right, Vice Chair Rutherford, um, please don't let me read all of that again, but um, could I bring, uh, would you mind making a motion? A motion on the consent agenda as read. Uh, thank you, is there a second? Any discussion at all? All right, all in favor, please say aye. Any opposed, any abstentions? All right, we approved the consent calendar. 10 in favor, zero against, zero abstentions. And with no further business for the Planning and Zoning Committee, I declare our meeting adjourned. Thank you, everyone.